Farmers in Fukushima have had to get creative as they deal with the aftermath of the 2011 nuclear accident. They constantly test the produce they sell, but some consumers still worry about radiation contamination. So one village has found a way to grow vegetables in a closed environment. NHK World's Nami Umemura shows us. Mitsuyo Endo and her family own a mushroom farm in the village of Kawauchi, 30 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi. The 2011 nuclear accident forced them to change how they work. <laughs> now they test the mushrooms several times for radiation. Endo says the level of cesium or other substances is below the government set standard. Still, their mushrooms sell for nearly half of what they did before the disaster. My mushrooms are safe. It's a shame they're deemed no good the moment people find out they're from Fukushima. Other farmers in Kawauchi are dealing with the same problem. Growing crops such as mushrooms, rice, and buckwheat is easy. Selling them is another matter. Endo San Takeo leads the reconstruction effort for the village. He decided to take action. Kawauchi prides itself on having clean groundwater. I thought of growing safe, cesium-free vegetables by creating an enclosed space that uses tasty groundwater to cultivate vegetables, while taking extra care not to absorb any cesium floating around in the atmosphere. His colleagues at the village office liked the idea. They built a cutting-edge vegetable factory last April. The hydroponic facility uses water but no soil. LED lights speed growth. The factory can produce up to 8,000 heads of letters at one time. Workers harvest every 30 to 40 days and check for radioactive substances before shipment. Since the vegetables are cultivated in a clean room, they don't have to be washed. The customer can simply open the container and pour dressing directly onto the vegetables. It's now our best seller. Consumers are buying the vegetables in stores across Fukushima Prefecture and in the Tokyo area. Takeo Endo hopes to lure more farmers into the business so they can cultivate strawberries and other products. I hope this will serve as a center for shipping and selling vegetables locally produced in Fukushima. If this succeeds, we can overcome food safety concerns and help farmers make more money so they can continue working in this business. It's one of many steps people in northeastern Japan are taking to try to revitalize the agricultural sector and their region. Naomi Umemura, NHK World, Fukushima.